Every electron microscope needs several dozen electronic boards for it to properly work. Wait a minute, let me guess. Very precise voltage will be needed again. So these are not just common boards. You are right, as usual. A very precise voltage source is needed for the electron beam. Very precise current and voltage sources are necessary for electron beam deflection and shaping. And special low noise amplifiers of very low currents are needed to amplify signals created by backscattered or secondary electrons. So we get back to the drawings of detailed electrical diagrams. Precisely. And only after that, the boards of printed circuits are designed and the parts are soldered onto them. And here's the result. Sorry, but this really looks like an ordinary board that I have in the back of my computer. No, no. With regard to specific requirements of the microscope, its design is at the cutting edge of feasibility. Requirements for precision, time and temperature stability of current and voltage sources are usually stated in PPM. The stability of these sources in the microscope is required to be within 1 to 10 PPM. In other words, it must not change more than between 100 thousandth and 1 millionth of the setup value over a specific time and temperature range. This makes my head spin. We call it the SDSB. SDSB? Sure. Sweet damn stable board. I see. Uh, we'd better go on. Each board must be tested, first usually as a separate board on the developer's table. If everything is all right, then comes the crucial moment. Only when tested with a microscope will it be proved whether all the requirements are fulfilled. <laughs>